using the scripting language, it's possible to produce ensemble averages for every channel that is visible on the screen. In this example, we have a digital channel here that contains the marker information for when the stimulus event occurred. And then we also have another channel visible on screen, which shows us a change in oxygenation in the brain in response to a stimulus event. In the script, we can define the type of marker and also the label of the marker, which is the stimulus event. And we can also define the time interval before and after the stimulus event for which the ensemble average will be performed. So all we have to do is make sure to keep the channels that we want averaged displayed, then hit run, and we'll obtain these two waveforms, which are the result of the ensemble average. We can actually easily overlay the waveforms on top of each other. We just go ahead, select all the data in one waveform, copy the waveform, go to the other window, insert waveform, and we can now overlay the stimulus event and the response.